This is the public school in the town of Mao, Datu Abdullah Sanki, Maguindanao, in the southern Philippines. This school is one of many at the forefront of the global fight against malnutrition. Despite being a vegetable farming community, the children here had been suffering from hidden hunger. A deficiency of micronutrients, which can affect performance, weaken immunity, and lead to problems in physical development. The hidden hunger crisis exists in many countries. In the Philippines, the UN reports that one-third of children are stunted and mortality rates for children under the age of five are unacceptably high. But there is hope. The school children of Datu Abdullah Sanki are beneficiaries of a school feeding program that serves fortified rice. Made possible through the cooperation of government, local rice farmers and millers, as well as support from international organizations like the UN World Food Program, WFP, who partner with private corporations like DSM, a global provider of nutrition improvement solutions. WFP's partnership with DSM involves strengthening the capacity of the government of the Philippines to provide fortified rice as part of the existing national school feeding program. The strategy is to fill the nutrient gap by fortifying the staple food in the Philippines, rice, with essential micronutrients. The philosophy is you want to try to have an intervention to improve nutrition that is basically um, as little changing habits uh, that people have as possible. While we have the consumer in end in mind, we also have to bring in other players such as the smallholder farmers. And of course, we want to build in on their capacity with the idea as well of increasing their income and contributing to their livelihoods. Chicks must have your own gar vegetable garden. School feeding program here in Dato Abdullah Sanki is very much important, especially with the help of the World Food Program, the Iron Fortified Rice. It increases the attendance of the children and improves their nutritional status. And most of them are healthy. We don't have uh, cases of communicable diseases. The result is a marked difference in the children's school performance and on the community as a whole. Na change po yung ano. Eh, dati po kasi kasali po kami sa may maraming uh, case ng ano, malnourished sa buong Maguindanao. I Amin mean, na malaki po talaga ang tulong sa ano sa mga kabataan na yung mga bata na malnourished ngayon po ay no, nasa normal na po ang kanilang uh, nutritional status. At the same time po, uh, naging uh, active na po yung mga bata sa school nila, nagpa-participate na po sila. And then yung mga parents din po is very ano na rin po sila sa, nutri sa pagdating sa uh, nutrition ng mga anak nila. Every stakeholder along the supply chain is of vital importance for the fortified rice to reach those who need it. We can't do things alone as well as we can do when we collaborate together and leverage each other's strengths and to be able to, to be the powerful movement that we can to address malnutrition. So we're looking at the farmer, the rice miller, the blender, the fortificant supplier, um, the government sector, um, civil society, and even the open market uh, players to be able to really make this work and to make this work on a, a continuum, but also very sustainably. So all working hands on deck to really end malnutrition.